Police won Tinubu, Obi, Atiku, others over 2023 elections. The Nigeria Police Force has said that any threat to life was a criminal offence, adding that the Electoral Act is also clear on the appropriate punishment prescribed for election-related crimes. The force made this known while advising all politicians, especially the presidential candidates, on the platform of the major political parties to eschew violence and caution their supporters against threatening voices of dissent and opposition in the run-up to the 2023 general elections. The false spokesperson, Olumuyo Adejobi, stated this on Sunday against the backdrop of online bullying and violent verbal exchange between the supporters of All Progressives Congress presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, and the Labour Party flag bearer, Peter Obi. The report had alleged that the Ghanaian president, Nana Akufo Addo, advised Tinubu to seek medical care and give the LP presidential candidate the chance to rule. But the Ghana High Commission in Nigeria, High Commissioner in Nigeria, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has since denied the report in a statement. The High Commissioner described the report as false and misleading, adding that the Ghanaian leader did not write such a letter to the APC leader. A viral video of a Paris confraternity in which the members were mocking a leading presidential candidate in a song also attracted anger and condemnation across the country. There has also been increased cyberbullying on the social media and attacks by overzealous presidential candidates, supporters, speak, sparking anxiety that this might culminate in electoral violence during the campaigns, which would kick off in September. Adejobi, who stressed that the police would not take lightly the violence of the provisions, the violation of the provisions of the Electoral Act, advised anyone who felt threatened to report to the police for necessary action. Threat to life is a criminal offense, he said, and everyone has the right to take up cases against anyone who threatens their life or engages in an act capable of making their life precarious or causing a problem in the country. Hence, whoever feels threatened is at liberty to approach the police formally for necessary action. The Electoral Act is clear on electoral offenses and appropriate punishment. Also, our criminal laws can be applied in handling election-related crises. We have our laws and we are duty-bound to enforce them at all times. While we urge all political actors to be law-abiding and desist from violating the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022, we will always engage relevant stakeholders, especially politicians, in deliberations from time to time on how to have a seamless exercise in 2023. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.